lessons 5.0 in our previous class. Today we are going to learn about the angles, acute angles, obtuse angles, and reflex angles. Okay. So uh, we see and uh, we mean by the what is the right angle and the straight angle, right? However, not all the angles uh, come across the these two kinds. Okay. You see here the angle made by the ladder with the wall. So it is the wall, it is the ladder. So the angle made by the ladder with the wall is neither a right angle nor a straight angle. Right? Do you think? Are they the angles are smaller than the right angles? And do you think or the angles are greater than the right angles? Yes. So yes, have you seen the carpenter's square? Yes, it looks like a capital L shape, right? So he uses to measure the right angles okay yes so let us also make a similar gesture for a right angle okay yes take a piece of paper take a piece of paper and fold it in the middle okay and again fold it in the middle it is the right angle tester okay See here, one of the edge is straight up on the other edge, right? Yes. Suppose any shape with a corner, you can use this right angle tester, or we can also call it as an or a tester to check the whether the shape is right angle or not. If the two edge of the paper is matched with the angle, then it is said to be a right angle. Okay. See here, the our hand is moved from twelve to. Five. Yes. Then check it whether it is smaller than the right angle or greater than the right angle. Yes. See here first I will match here one of the. So here there is the edge point or corner point. So I will match with the one of the corner. Okay. So see here. Yes. Now so here it should be the right angle, right? So it is greater than the right angle, right? So once you see here, one of the the angle is formed is greater than the right angle. Why? Because here there is the other edge, but it is greater than the edge, right? So we can say that it is the greater than the right angle. Greater than right angle. Okay. Then similarly you can check here there is a our hand move from five to seven. Okay, so our hand is move from five to seven. Let's check whether it is right angle or it is less than the right angle or greater than the right angle. Yes, I will match here one of the four. I will match the two edges here. So first I will match the one of the edge. Yes, but the other edge is smaller than right angle see here here there is the right angle so it is smaller than the right angle right it is smaller than right angle okay then again see here we know the straight angle so if the our hand is moved from 12 to 6 it is a straight angle so it is greater than the straight angle. Have you seen that? Yes. So 12 to. So it is a right angle cluster. If you open this, it is the straight angle. Right? Yes. See here, it is the straight angle. But the angle is greater than the straight angle. Right? The angle is greater than the straight angle. Yes, it is greater than greater than straight angle. Yes. So then, so finally, we can conclude that the angle is greater than the right angle is called obtuse angle. The angle is greater than the right angle is called obtuse angle. And the angle is smaller than the right angle 
is called acute anger. Is called acute anger. Okay, and if the anger is greater than the straight anger, if the anger is greater than the straight anger and less than the complete anger. Yet it is not completed. Right? The anger, the our hand is moved from twelve to seven. So, but it doesn't comes to the twelve again. So it is not completed. Means it is not a one revolution. Right? So we can say that the angle is greater than the straight angle. Then the angle is called it as reflex angle. Angle is called it as reflex angle. Yes, we can write the definition of the other three angles here. Yes, first one is obtuse angle. Obtuse angle means so greater than right angle. Greater than Greater than right angle. Then acute angle. Acute angle is smaller than the right angle. Smaller than right angle. Okay. Then the reflex angle is. Then the reflex angle is greater than. Greater than straight angle. Greater than straight angle, less than complete angle. Can we say that? Yes. Greater than straight angle and less than complete angle. Okay. Yes. So these are the examples for the obtuse angles. Then next, so these are the examples for the acute angles. Okay. Yes. Let's go to solve the exercise 5.3. Let's solve the exercise 5.3. Yes, the first one is math and follow. So in the one side they are given the angle and the other side they are given the number revolutions. Okay. So on the other side they are given revolutions. Okay. The first one is straight angle. So straight angle means we know that it is half of the revolution. Means it takes two right angle. Turn. So it is half of a revolution. Where is it half of a revolution? Is here. It is half of a revolution. Okay. The next one, right angle. So right angle means it is one fourth of a revolution. Is where is one fourth of a revolution? Is here. It is one fourth of a revolution. The next third one, acute angle. So acute angle is less than the right angle. The angle is smaller than the right angle, then it is called the acute angle. So here the acute angle is less than the one fourth of a revolution. Yes, it is less than one fourth of a revolution. Okay. Then the fourth one is obtuse angle. So the obtuse angle is greater than the right angle and less than the straight angle. Straight angle. So it comes between the right angle and the straight angle. Right? See here. Yes. The E option is between one fourth of an half of a revolution. So it is the obtuse angle. Okay. Then the last one, last angle is reflex angle. Reflex angle. Reflex angle is greater than the straight angle and less than the complete angle. So we can say here the reflex angle is greater than the half of a Revolution. It's very so greater or more than half of a revolution. So it is yes. okay. Let's go to the second. Okay. Let's go to the second one. Classify each one of the following angles as right, straight, acute, obtuse, and reflex angles. Okay. Yes. Here they are given the six figures and sorry. Here they are given the six angles. Yes. Let's classify the angle. Yes. The first angle is yes. uh, to classify the angles. I will use a right angle test. Okay. Yes. See here. So we match one of the edge with the right angle base. Yes. So here there is the other edge. So it is less than the 
right angle. So less than the right angle means it is acute angle. It is acute angle. Okay. Then the second one angle. So I will match the edges. Yes. So it is greater than the right angle. Yes. You can see here the angle is greater than the right angle. So then it is obtuse angle. Okay. Then the third one is is match your face to face. Yes. The given angle is right angle. Okay. Measuring of the angles using the geometrical to protract.